Hi guys, welcome to today's video and today I'm sat underneath our car. So yeah that's that's nice. Uh this is the car that I based my FTX High Rock off. Uh as you can see, even with me sat underneath it, it's quite big. These are I forgot the inch but they're big Maxis big horn tires. Uh, there's two of them. We've got DV8 uh, works wheels as well. I'll show you them in a minute. I'm gonna just go through some of the stuff that it's got. Uh, I'm just sat under it at the minute. Uh, this is the exhaust. So this goes all the way up there. You got your cat up there, and there's your cat catalytic converter up there. And yeah, so solid. This thing's got four wheel drive and diff locks. So there's the diff lock cable. It's all the way up from the centre console here. All the way up down there and then it splits it off into the diff and then that'll be locked uh, so yeah that's that that's got a solid axle at the front and it has got double uh, dual wishbone suspension at the back which is uh, quite cool yeah i believe are all brake lines and things so, i know these are fuel lines actually because this is the fuel tank this is like a little guard for it but yeah this is the fuel tank uh, it's quite big and there's actually quite a lot of space in there and there's a spare tyre, but because we've got these big tyres, that's just the stock Ford Ranger tyre, so we don't need that one. These are the footwells in the cars, I believe. These are the main chassis rails. Go all the way around, and see C-frame chassis or something like that. And I believe that big bar there is a roll bar. So if you look at the size of that, this is the width, that's the width of this exhaust. That is huge. And um no way you can see it. it's got leaf springs at the back. You probably can't you probably can't see it, but it has got upgraded shocks up there. I'll uh, show you them in a minute. Big massive beefy skid plate. So that's good. And uh, it is an automatic, so here's the automatic gearbox transmission thing with the uh, very long prop shaft gear shaft thing. This is just a rubber stopper to stop it wiggling. All the way into the rear of the diff. So this is the diff got drive shafts in there and then they drive the back wheels and uh, it is disc brakes I believe I forgot the front's definitely disc but the back might be drum but yeah that's that and uh, I think that's, that's all around here you just got your sheet, uh, heat shields and your noise cancelling stuff up here and uh, yeah so let's move uh, further up the car I am lying on my side and I can't get any further because the skid plate is quite low but uh, we look up there, I don't know if you can see that, but you know, you got stuff, there's my finger, you got some stuff up there. Uh, it's got mud flaps, yeah, the front is disc brake with the drive shafts going through, as you can see that, and the brake lines and stuff, there's the wishbones, and there you go, all the way across there. That, I believe, is the steering thing, something for the steering. If you look up there, there's the upgraded shocks, look bright yellow, bright yellow coilovers in there, yeah. It's pretty cool. I believe that's a body mount or something. And then they've got these massive footsteps as well. <coughs> massive footsteps. And I believe that's the uh, something sensor. I forgot what it's called. It just measures how much like if your fuel is running rich or not. But yeah, that's uh, I believe everything about this car. As you can see, the tread on them, them big horn tyres are quite deep. And, uh, yeah, I absolutely love this car. We've had it for about six months now, and we love it. And uh, I've literally just washed it. I washed that one as well, but it's a bit dirty there. And um, yeah, let, let me just show you the uh, outside. Okay, so this is the car. Uh, quite big, as you can see, is the DV8 wheels, DV8 works wheels. Uh, it's got the, the anti-theft centre cap thing with the two, oh sorry I'm not showing it, two bolts there. Got your shocks in there, look. Big beefy massive shocks. There's your top wishbone. All that stuff in there. And it's uh, pretty cool. I don't know what size these are. And I believe it'll say on here somewhere. I don't know, but there's there's uh, um, some numbers and letters there. But yeah, big tyres. Up front, we've got a massive ball bar. Uh, Made by Steeler Bars, um, this thing's looking huge. It's got a sort of thing up under there as well, so as you're going over rocks and stuff, it, uh, it just bounces off them. Also, got a Predator two foot light bar, 
pretty cool. That is really bright. You can see for miles when you got that on. Uh, non-standard Ford grill. It's pretty cool. Little stripes. The Predator badge. Because this is a Ford Ranger Apex Predator. Hence the badges there. And uh, yeah, that's cool. We've got an Airplex bug deflector, stone deflector thing. Basically, you fly and you hit bugs and they fly up over the windscreen instead of hitting the windscreen, which is uh, pretty nice. Got these uh, Mustang style headlights and these are big indicators. So these will go do, do when you're indicating, which is, um, which is cool. Another wheel. I don't believe this, but it is actually twin turboed. So this thing has got about 350 horsepower, which is quite a lot, I, you know. So shiny. Look, there's the big heavy duty footsteps, as you can see. Solid, mate. Has got the rear cab on the back, which is a fiberglass, I believe. Yeah, it has got the rear window. So as you look through there, you can't see because there's a is the, uh, the reflection of the house, but yeah, that's a uh, this is a rear window. Ready for bad. Big uh, plastic mud flaps, and um, yeah, you just, just you guide the mud away from the thing, but they don't work because it all goes up here. Has got extended arches on it because um, because it's having these wider tyres, they, uh, they stick out a bit more, so it's got wider wider wheel arches on them. You can get this. You can get this version. And you can get the Predator Hulk, which is basically, it's got a wider offset. It's got an offset by about uh, like 50 mil, I think. And then it's got, it's got wide, big wide sloping wheel arches, which is uh, just cool, but it's about 20 grand more. So we didn't get that one. I'm not gonna tell you how much this was, but I'm just the hint, it starts with a six. So yeah, it's in this uh, sea blue, sea gray, no, see, yeah, see grey, see, so, uh, I don't know, something, sunscreen. And yeah, uh, it's got a, a shiny uh, yellow stripe, and it's got a, uh, a matte um, black stripe with a matte Predator badge. Parking sensors all the way around. These have been blocked off, because of the bar, and no parking sensors. So we've just got these ones at the minute. And we're thinking about drilling a hole and putting the parking sensors in here, but I think that's just too much work, so I'm not going to do that. I can't show you the engine at the minute because I haven't got the keys, but um, yeah, this thing is awesome. And uh, I hope that my awesome car looks quite close to what this is. They've got uh, these wind reflectors as well on the windows, so that's, uh, that's nice. And there's the back with the uh, smoked out light things and yeah this is this is what i've done to mine got a uh, magnetic body um ford raptor body and with tight badges and stuff on it that's nice uh, put that there i've replaced the servo for a 30 kilogram um i don't know whatever that is um servo Move the battery tray forwards because it used to be here and now it's here so it's better centre of gravity. Replace the wheels, uh, these tyres are a bit flat at the minute but yeah, replace the wheels and the, uh, put some centre cap things on them. Yeah, I've got portal axles front and rear which is uh, nice, they're 110 quid, 120 quid for the set. FTX Fury bumper mounts with uh, metal FTX Fury bumpers which, um, you know, looks good. There's the magnets for the uh, the bodies. Put a bit of foam on them so it's a bit softer. Blacked out these with electrical tape because it just gives it a nice look instead of the chrome. And yeah, kept the original tyres because um you know they they were a bit bigger than and them. But I put um some new wheels on them, some beadlock wheels, so they look really nice and they suit it well. Just need to reinflate that one. So yeah. Um, that's all I've done, been there, been a bit.